How could Solist, Russia's newly introduced multi-purpose tactical missile system featured in a promotional video, be so surprising? And what exactly is its connection to FPV technology? Developed by the Russian company Chems Concern, their latest missile system, named Solist, has begun to attract public attention. In a recently released video, the developers showcased in detail the innovative design of the system, while also demonstrating its capability to destroy armored vehicles and fortified positions held by the Ukrainian armed forces. Solist is described as a short-range, portable missile platform that offers high flexibility on the modern battlefield. Currently, Solist is undergoing a series of full-scale tests to evaluate its effectiveness and reliability in the field. Let's take a closer look at how this system works. Amid the ongoing fog of war in Ukraine, Russia has introduced a promising new weapon system known as Solist. Designed to offer high flexibility in both ground and aerial combat, this missile system appears to be part of Moscow's strategy to enhance both its deterrence and the effectiveness of precision strikes in the protracted conflict. With an operational range of up to 10 kilometers, Solist doesn't rely solely on range, but also features advanced targeting capabilities. One of its standout features is real-time operator control, allowing ground personnel to steer the missile during flight and even dynamically alter its trajectory. This represents a significant tactical advantage on the modern battlefield, where flexibility and adaptability are key to success. According to available information, the Solist missile travels at subsonic speeds, around Mach 0.45 or approximately 550 km per hour at sea level. While it doesn't break the sound barrier, this speed is sufficient to pose a serious threat to both ground and aerial targets, particularly when paired with its impressive precision. Its detection capabilities are supported by a bi-spectral electro-optical tracking head capable of operating in both television and thermal imaging modes. In other words, Solist can see day or night, even when the battlefield is obscured by smoke, dust, or other visual disturbances. The system's main advantage lies in its dual-mode seeker, enabling the missile to detect and lock onto targets under a wide range of environmental conditions. Beyond that, operators can receive live video feeds from the missile's point of view almost as if seeing the world through the eyes of the weapon itself, and issue precise navigation commands mid-flight. Solist emerges as a response to the demand for a smart, responsive, and lethal weapon system. Looking at how it operates, it's no surprise that the Solist is often dubbed a hybrid between a drone and a guided anti-tank missile. This is the Solist's main selling point, its advanced remote control capabilities, similar to how FPV systems work. The Solist can be operated via radio signals or fiber optic channels, with a range exceeding 2,000 meters. With this capability, operators can control the unit from a safe distance, far from the launch point. This advantage not only enhances operational flexibility, but also significantly reduces the risk of counterattacks, ensuring the safety of operators in the field. In a promotional video released to the public, the missile is shown launching smoothly into the air, reaching an altitude of 1,700 to 2,000 meters, before descending toward its designated target. Interestingly, the operator has full control to redirect the missile mid-flight to a higher priority target, a capability rarely found in similar systems. Unlike the US-made Javelin system, the Solist offers several strategic advantages. It can fire from greater distances and be launched from concealed positions, meaning operators don't need direct visual contact with the target on the battlefield. In a demonstration video, the Solist missile is seen following an intelligent curved trajectory, 
bypassing obstacles and striking armored vehicles from above, the area typically most vulnerable in a tank's defense. This tactic is clearly designed to maximize destructive impact on heavily armored ground targets. However, the Solist's capabilities don't end there. In addition to targeting ground threats, the system is also equipped to counter aerial threats. It is claimed to be capable of intercepting kamikaze drones such as Ukraine's Liuti and the A-22 Foxbat, as well as dealing with reconnaissance and attack helicopters. One of its standout features is the ability to switch targets mid-flight, offering high adaptability in constantly shifting combat environments. Behind all of this advanced technology is a team of specialists working quietly to develop the Solist. The project's duration remains classified, as does the number of units produced, shrouded in secrecy. What is certain is that the Solist now stands as one of the most formidable weapon systems in today's modern military arsenal. On the battlefield between Russia and Ukraine, both sides are racing in military technology innovation, striving to develop weapon systems capable of eliminating the enemy with a single strike. One of the key drivers behind this acceleration is the use of artificial intelligence, especially in drone development. As electronic warfare intensifies, modern drones are required to be more resilient, prompting the development of solutions such as using fiber optic cables in FPV drones to ensure the system remains functional even in signal-disrupted environments. On the Russian side, an advanced unmanned aircraft called OVOT-S, also known as OVOD, has emerged. This drone is equipped with an onboard computer and an AI system based on neural networks. Because of integrated machine vision technology, the OVOD can automatically identify and track targets. Once it receives a strike command, the drone locks onto the target and directs itself with high precision, ensuring accurate and lethal attacks. The superior capabilities of FPV drone technology, which appear difficult to counter, have drawn Russia's attention. They are not only studying how it works, but are also beginning to apply similar concepts to other weapon systems, including the Solist. So what's your opinion about Solist? Leave your thoughts and thanks for watching.